Welcome to another video from I got it's Techie and today I'm going to show you how you can successfully downgrade your iDevice from iOS 8 to iOS 7.1.1 7.1.1 is still the version Apple are signing so it is quite straightforward to actually downgrade it so first of all you will need to make sure you get the 7.1.1 IPSW file for your iDevice and make sure it's extracted and saved in a in a location because we will need that in a second. So first of all, make sure you've got your iOS device connected to iTunes. And what we want to do is actually to put the iOS device into the restore mode. Now to do this, all we need to do is actually press and hold the home and power button for about 10 seconds and then let go of the power button and hold the home button till it pops up on iTunes to say it's in recovery mode like so. So now it says it's in recovery mode so all we do is again if you've got a Mac computer make sure you are pressing down the alt key and if you've got a Windows computer make sure you're pressing down the shift key. So and what we then need to do is go on to restore iPod or iPhone whatever your um, iOS device is um, navigate to where we've got the 7.1.1 IPSW file so here I've got mine just open it and then just restore and just wait for iTunes to restore your device back to 7.1.1 I'm just gonna keep, skip this part and I'm just gonna come back once the device has restored so that's all done now so it's um, downgraded to 7.1.1 I'll just quickly show you on my iPod um, that it is 7.1.1 so now we can just check that it's downgraded to 7.1.1 as you can see version is 7.1.1 so this is how you can downgrade it from iOS 8 to 7.1.1 so that's all from me for today. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, please do give me a thumbs up. Any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Please subscribe and I hope to see you all in the next one.